Uh, Chris, this leads us into uh, more NIL discussion, and this has to do with college basketball, but it, it all kind of ties in together, right? Miami basketball guard Isaiah Wong threatened to transfer from Miami if his NIL rate was not raised. Uh, now, this comes from, there's a billionaire uh, attorney that is, I, I think the guy is a big-time investor or a, a co-founder or whatever of this thing called Life Wallet. And Life Wallet uh, has a, like, $30 billion valuation. So this guy is, is or no, I think it might be, like, $100 billion. So he's worth, like, $30 billion himself, and he's throwing around this money. They got a transfer from Kansas State named Nigel Pack, and he was one of the top five transfers out in the transfer portal, and he signed with Miami, and his agent, which this all sounds really weird for it to be college basketball, but his agent announced that he was signing with Miami, and in the exact same tweet announced that he had signed a deal with Life Wallet for $800,000 over two years, and that was going to be his NIO compensation, for going to Miami. Now, that sounds a lot like a recruiting inducement to me. And it sounds like this agent brokered this deal with a known Miami booster. And and now we're still talking about the same stuff with Jordan Addison uh, with between Pitt and USC and the fact that he might be making like $3 million to play wide receiver next year. But at what point does this get... Like, I, I don't have a problem with kids getting paid. I'm just, I don't know that any of this is sustainable. And and cheers to these kids for getting the money while they can. But doesn't does it not feel just weird to have this going on? No, no, this is normal. This is normal. This is how every business starts, okay? This is how all new things happen, all right? They're new. People begin to find loopholes and, and, and use them for the way they weren't intended. And then the society says, oh, we like that. We're okay with that. We can't enforce this. And the thing molds into what it becomes. Okay? Ten years from now, we're not even going to know the story of this. We're not even going to know any of these people matter. People are talking about all this money, these guys. Go back and look at Sam Darnold. Not Sam Darnold. Sam Bradford's contract. Sam Bradford made more money than any quarterback in the history of the NFL in his time of playing football. And he was never very good. That's true. And the league and the economics of the business said, what the fuck are we doing? All right. All right. Let's back it down. Back it down. Let's, let's put a cap on these things for rookies. Let's make a scale. Let's, let's do some things a little bit different. Okay. And so the economy changed greatly after that, all right? And now you used to have guys trade out of the first-round pick that were early first-round guys because they couldn't afford their rookie. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? So (laughs) all these big-money deals of all these guys, all it's going to take is a guy like, like what we have in Miami. He signed a deal. Now, one year later, he's not happy with his deal because he sees the next guy's making more than him, and he values himself more, well, you've got some options. You can go into the NBA draft, take your chances there, or you can hop in the transfer portal. Well, if you hop in the transfer portal, you forego any future earnings that our NIL deal signs. Like, that. okay, all of these things have to be laid out in contract. You're going to see all kinds of things happen through this new economy. You're going to find people who are going to make deals with kids and then they're not going to pay them. And we're going to all lose our fucking mind. We're going to all flip out and say, Oh my God, this one booster promised $800,000 to this kid. And then he welts on the deal. Go ask anybody who has ever ran a small business. If they've ever had somebody make a commitment, the small business handles their part of it. And the person welts on the deal. It happens every day. Every day. day. In Oh, yeah. Every every day it happens in business. Okay? Now, it doesn't really happen to the big boys very much because our government protects them. They don't protect the little guys. And people are going to lose their minds. You know what I'm going to say? I know this sucks for that kid. 
But some good things come of it. A, he got a really good life lesson. B, he's going to understand the thousand dollars that he has to pay for an attorney to look over all these contracts is absolutely worth every penny of it. Agreed. And C, openly, publicly humiliate the person that wants on that deal. And now other kids go into that school will know, don't do a deal with this guy unless you get the money up front. Lots of things can happen. Bad things are going to happen when you have this because we're made of people and people are assholes. We're all assholes. Okay? Yeah. So so I'm not afraid of any of this. I'm not afraid. Like, the, the kid who's coming in, the new five-star, get your money. Okay? Is he worth 800 grand over two years? Probably not. But get your money anyway. All right? Kid that wants to leave because maybe last year he only got like 150 grand or whatever. Hey, I'm okay with you being upset about your deal. You can either play on it or you can leave. Yeah, I don't if know. you want to go test the market, say, you can. If you think that I'm you're worth you more this. than that, yeah. I, yeah, I think the majority of these deals going forward are going to be very, not incentive based, but time based. I think they're going to be very backloaded. This is very much a situation where you stay here for two years, you get eight hundred grand. Your first year, I'm going to give you one hundred fifty thousand dollars. The second year, every month, I'm going to give you one hundred fifty thousand dollars. You know, like, like you, you're just we're just going to make sure you're not here for five minutes in the week. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Go ask anybody who's ever built a house where they didn't use the builder and they subbed everything out on their own. Ask them. People will come in your house and they're going to say, I need 20% up front and then I need 60% when I get to this point and then I need 15% here. And then like the, you got like a, like 5 or 10% at the back end that you owe me when it's all done. Find out how hard is it to get them to finish the job when all you owe them is the last 5 or 10%. Oh, yeah. Boy, they're Johnny on the spot trying to get that first 50, 60%. Showing up every day, working their ass off. Wait, and then you after that, only owe them five or ten percent, and they never show up. These NIL deals are going to be the same way. If you pay these kids up front, they're going to hop on that. They're going to take your money. They're going to hop on that transfer portal, and then they're going to get paid by somebody else. I, w- I will say and this: I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay with all of it. The sponsors that are paying out the NIL deals are going to get screwed by these kids. And the kids well, yeah. are going to get screwed by some of these sponsors. Everybody's going to screw somebody at some point. I'm okay with all of it because this is how it all works. This is how we get to the perfect society. Yeah, this is, is you, you it's how you get to the market rough, correction. Yeah. Yeah, you take a rough idea and you say, man, I can see where there's problems here, but I think we can work with all these problems. And you see how people manipulate it and you see how people abuse it. And you say, okay, we don't like that. We're just start chiseling away at this and making regulation here, make a rule there. Don't get too crazy. I'm not a big fan of regulation. That's because people are assholes. Most rules only come in because people like to tell other folks what to do. Hey, not do because you think, it actually benefits let, anybody. Let me interrupt you real quick. Do you think that maybe this is why the NCAA dragged their feet for so long on coming up with some kind of a plan for this? Well, Because I know we like to bash the NCAA. Their but, it's because yeah. they're incompetent. Because they're really bad at this stuff. Yeah, no, I, I don't the, agree with it. Or I don't disagree. 10, the yeah. other 10% is because, oh, we can't get a perfect everybody, everybody has a big, this is the, let me tell you, this is a government conversation. Everybody on the planet that's involved in government right now foregoes the good because it ain't perfect all the time. And it pisses me off. Yeah. If yeah. what we have is shit and another way of doing it could be better, uh, but but that other way's got a lot of flaws. Look at all these flaws. They don't like that. Uh-uh. You got to try some things, man. This is why we don't fix any problems. It's because we want to solve every problem in 200 characters in a tweet or a three minute answer and a monologue on a debate. You just can't. Problems like healthcare are just too big. Like, no one's going to be able to answer all the questions in five minutes. You just can't. Yeah, it's just, it's but impossible. That's, but that's the issue. Yeah, the NCAA saw. We don't know how to do this where it won't upset people. So we're just not going to do this. Well, that's the problem. Just try something. Yeah. Heaven forbid you, you upset the organization and you actually do something that's good for the kids for once since your organization was founded, you dumb bastards. 
<laughs> it was founded in order to uh, to help protect the uh, the kids that were playing, and it has. How good are they at that, Gary? Uh, they, they have they've gone way far away from it. That's that's why we have They're a whole so other good at organization. It that another organization <laughs> had to be created to do that very thing. Wow, it just blows my mind. Blows my mind. Anyway, all right, so, I've rambled. I've, I've yelled and screamed a lot. I apologize. No, no, it's good. It's good. I mean, that's that's what I wanted. Um, yeah. I, I will say, I mean, we did have, um, uh, good gracious, uh, two four seven had Deion Sanders on. And he said, uh, I, I don't think any of this stuff is tampering. He said, uh, it's really a lot of the high school coaches that are reaching out on these universities' account. Uh, and he said that most of these college football players know where they're going before they ever enter the portal because they want to make sure they got a spot now because they have seen so many kids get left in the portal and not have a scholarship and whatnot. Now, I don't think Jordan Addison have ever had to worry about that. Uh, but, and, but the situation with Isaiah Wong... It's slightly different. He wanted more money because he saw a guy that came in that has not been a part of this program is making more than him, and he just led and a team led, to the Elite he Eight. He led a mediocre team to an Elite Eight season that was yeah. unbelievable, and he played his ass off, and he was the leader of that team. Yeah. But the question is, is he worth more than what they're already giving him out in the open market? And I don't think that's the case. I don't think it is. Well, he, he might be, because we don't he really know be. what he's, he's being given. We don't know what his original contract is. Hell, he might have signed that bash for 50K. Uh, yeah, there ain't no telling. There ain't no telling. But 50K two years ago was life-changing, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, most certainly. Most certainly. It was It was before John Ruiz and, and all these Miami yeah. boosters were we, throwing we around in, money we for football. We live in a different world than we did and... last week. <laughs> you are not wrong about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.